what we're going to do in this video is think a little bit more about reference angles. And in particular, we're going to try to figure out the reference angles for negative angles. So let's do a negative angle in degrees. So let's say we're thinking about negative 700 degrees. So what would that look like? Well, we could start at the positive x-axis. And if we're going, if we have talking about a negative angle, we'd be going in the clockwise direction. So if we go around once, that is 360 degrees. And then if we were to go around a whole other time, it would be 720. So we're going to be seven, we're going to be 20 degrees short of that. So what I just drew right over there, that is negative 700 degrees. And the angle would look like this. I'll maybe I'll do it in this purple color. It would look something like this. So one way to think about it is you would be starting at the x-axis and you'd be going around almost twice to get back over there. Now, as we've talked about before, reference angles, which are going to be very useful as we go further into trigonometry, are positive acute angles, what we are talking about with the x-axis. So for example, in this situation right over here, that would be this angle that goes from the x-axis to that ray right over there. And as we said, this is 20 degrees. It's 720 minus that 700 degrees. So that is our reference angle, our positive angle. Now, let's do it in radians. So let's say we're dealing with negative 13 over, let's say thir negative 13 pi over 6 radians. Radians. What does that look like? Well, once again, we can start at the positive x-axis. This would involve, let's see, 12 pi over 6 would be going, would be going twice around. So let's see, if we go, this would be negative 2 pi over, this would be negative 2 pi, which is the same thing. Well, actually, no, never mind. That would be, so what I just drew so far is negative 2 pi, which is, 12 pi over 6. So now we are going to go another pi over 6. So another way to think about it, we'd go another pi over 6. And it might look something like this. So the angle, so how did I do that? This angle up here, negative 13 pi over 6, that's the same thing as negative 12 pi over 6 minus another pi over 6. This is negative 2 pi, negative 2 pi minus pi over 6. So negative 2 pi, you'd go one time around. It's equivalent of 300, negative 360 degrees. And then you go another negative pi over 6. Now what is the reference angle going to be? Well, remember, it's a positive angle with the x-axis. So we are going to be talking about, it is going to be, we are going to be talking about this angle right over here. And that is going to be pi over 6 radians. It's again, positive angle with the x-axis. And we're done.